in this video we will see about the line chart uh, continuing to our uh, creating story uh, for different components the first component we have seen about the numeric chart in the previous video uh, now let's see means how to add line chart and various properties of the line chart and what are the different things which we can do with uh, line chart to add a line chart uh, just click on this insert uh, charts option here uh, you can uh, see uh, uh, there are different charts available so we will select from this as line chart first and once we select this line chart we need to specify at least uh, y axis or right uh, right or left uh, y axis so the first thing is uh, to select the measures so here we will see gross margin uh, is the one thing which is we wanted to see uh, right now we will not take me suppose we, we do wanted to see some other measures as well so uh, sales revenue or quant uh, quantity kind uh, other measures that we can select it here but for now we just just select a gross margin here uh, add dimension is uh, which we will select we there are different different but for now which is very meaningful means we, we can see a date wise uh, gross margin for um, uh, which which uh, which can be uh, selected as for, for the uh, dimensions uh, so this is all date uh, for now means when we select this is uh, it will just uh, have option automatically up drilling down as well so different different uh, years uh, and uh, if you wanted to go up uh, we can uh, go on to the upper level as well from here when we click on that uh, there is uh, uh, when we say dimensions we can uh, do our own uh, filtering of the data uh, with the help of this filter uh, uh, options which is uh, filter by member filter by me uh, filter by member is just a selection uh, of the years and quarters filter by range is about the particular time period and then we can select uh, current year uh, basically to for the specific one so let's say miss let's see filter by member first one so for now means we have a different different years uh, that we can select uh, uh, however we can uh, also select for some specific year we wanted to see the four per quarter uh, so you can see it here and there are some other options which is allow uh, viewers to modify selection generally uh, we should be allowing the users uh, to modify the selection I means it's just a filtering so based on the filters I means the users can uh, choose there should not allow uh, uh, viewers to delete the filter hide in control panels uh, so the existing filters we should be keeping that uh, there is multiple selection or a single selection so uh, it can be possible that multiple values can be selected over the chart so once you click on this ok now you can see this chart has been created you can see this is uh, year 2014 let's do so uh, once we have this uh, we can use different different uh, options uh, to be selected here uh, which is uh, for formatting and all those things so suppose this is uh, line uh, so you can see this is the year uh, 2013 this is the year 14 which is for uh, each quarter so suppose uh, we if you wanted to uh, go drill down as well we can go with the uh, with that particular year and for each year uh, it has uh, january to february so as this is a drillable or this is a hierarchy uh, component um, and that's why this drilling is possible here on this uh, chart so uh, the drilling is possible we can go uh, again uh, up i mean it's it's year and quarter um, um, hierarchy set uh, basically if it is year quarter month or day and then it we can go uh, to the uh, lowest level of the hierarchy which is a uh, day as well so that is also possible uh, we can uh, when we select this uh, line uh, you can see uh, there is a styling option here we can where we can uh, select uh, a different uh, formatting options which is uh, data point uh, so suppose this data point is nothing but the points which are shown up here uh, we can give different uh, colors uh, to this uh, suppose I want to show uh, this data points in a different color uh, this formatting and all those things we can specify with all these things uh, the formatting uh, we can say means if it is a thousand a million or a billion for now let's say select is a thousand um, so uh, when we select thousand it will come as automatically here in thousand so whatever the figure it is showing is here earlier it was a complete figure of 65,000 some uh, 7500 something so th that has been changed in thousand so it has been like 65,000 uh, uh, 65.75 so this figures in thousand so this we can give um, 
uh, then scale formatting we can spe uh, specify thousand million uh, again same formatting which we can do uh, legions so what are the legions we are having uh, we can uh, have it above or uh, below chart so suppose we want to have it uh, the, uh, the legions uh, so that can be possible to uh, appear here for this uh, thing uh, let's do some uh, full screen this so that it will be helpful for our understanding uh, now uh, we can see there are different properties available here uh, if you click on this uh, you can uh, actually sort um, by date uh, then gross margin and uh, there are other options as well here uh, by uh, sort like earliest to latest so this is also we can uh, do it or uh, we can uh, sort in uh, based on the latest to earliest so you can see this date has uh, formatting has changed of 2015 then to 14 and 13 then uh, now uh, we can uh, select some other properties which is ranking uh, so we can select a top five ranking uh, so this is also one for so what is the top five values and that it, it is possible to see it here as well uh, we can select just bottom five as well so this gets changed now um, uh, we don't want to select this so i'm just reverting it on the changes now uh, there are some other proper, uh, properties which is compared to uh, which is previous period or previous year or previous quarter so when we select previous period uh, it will show the difference between the uh, see uh, what is the difference between this value and this so minus uh, this is the minus uh, so i can see uh, how it has been uh, compared over the previous when we apply this filter you can see this variance as well here which is uh, with the previous uh, period this this way we can do the comparison with the previous year previous quarter and uh, if we select this open variance panel as well uh, then also it is possible to see uh, what are the variance and all those things so we suppose we have something uh, some values to be compared that we can give it here uh, so which is all measures or some measures which we are having and to which it is uh, to be compared so that we can uh, give it here uh, for for this now uh let's go back uh, to now uh, now coming to uh, the other properties of this uh, chart see uh, add smart insights so this is also very powerful uh, feature which is available with the uh, sap antics cloud uh, when we say add smart uh, insights it will show up the uh, values uh, means when we run it so like see uh, so basically uh, when uh, when we uh, open this uh, chart it will sh show the smart insight for gross margin for 2003 is the top top contributor so as you see is from this uh, actually it will use the uh, antics uh, technology and based on that it it will suggest different different uh, important or critical uh, data from this uh, analysis so this is very powerful uh, so which will be helpful for the business users to take these decisions faster uh, we can add some reference line as well suppose we have some reference line uh, of like 50000 so this is this is one uh, benchmark we wanted to set and uh, based on that means we, uh, it is has helpful so this is we can say it's a reference range so this is the reference range uh, which uh, which is there and uh, the different things so there are different things which we can do the, with this reference range and it is helpful uh, to measure the performance of the particular business where, uh, how it is performing means whether it is going uh, good in uh, terms of uh, year wise data or quarter wise data or it is having some issues and, uh, with the business data now uh, you can see there are some other options available as well mobile and enable is fine and then we can say adding forecast as well automatic forecast we can add so there is one more about the reference line which is fixed and uh, dynamic as well so uh, we can give some reference uh, to this fixed in fixed where we can specify some specific value uh, like 50000 or something as a reference value and in dynamic actually we can select a measure which is coming from the uh, database or the model so that range we can give it here and uh, its aggregation whether it is maximum or minimum that we can uh, select and label also we can uh, give it the next point is to add a uh, conditional formatting or a threshold values uh, so that we can format our line chart uh, as per as per the values which is given here 
to do this uh, we can just clear uh, select his add dimension or threshold and from here we can select the uh, measures which is already there we have created a conditional formatting so you can see means based on this conditional formatting uh, these points has been changed uh, the colors has been changed because we have already created um, conditional formatting for gross margin for the numeric point chart uh, so that is uh, it has taken we can edit the ranges so edit edit range means it will be uh, the one which is here uh, we can uh, suppose uh, we can select this is uh, 65000 or something uh, let's say 6 so this way if you do this um, uh, this will uh, show the various conditional formatting uh, results so you can see uh, the green ones are okay the orange ones are warning and the critical ones so you can see the color has been changed um, for, for this uh, demi, uh, uh, thresholds so this is one thing which we can do and uh, the tool tip is also it, it will show up means for which it is threshold is gross margin uh, what is this straight uh, straight like uh, okay or uh, warning or critical after that means we will see uh, what is trailing uh, so there is one more option of uh, having add uh, trail is so this is trellis is one option which is available where we can divide our chart to different different divisions like uh, if you see uh, based on the dimensions available we can uh, divide our chart uh, so suppose we wanted to uh, divide this chart on the uh, straight part so we can do this by using this one so you, you can see this is for california nevada and oregon so you can see different different charts available for this uh, uh, straight wise uh, basically uh, if you wanted to uh, change this uh, instead of chart uh, we can uh, do uh, select some other um, dimensions as well which will be helpful uh, to see let's do it on uh, a city so based on because there will be multiple cities you can see there, there are different different charts uh, getting created and uh, this is what how it, it looks like so this is a very good uh, point to as well uh, to create it uh, different uh, charts for different different cities and if th that is something which is needed for uh, different date ranges and that is also we can uh, do it let's remove it i don't want to uh, make it as uh, for state wise or city wise uh, distribution so i'm just removing this uh, trellis so when this is needed we can uh, do this uh, so i'm just uh, now this is what we have uh, done till now miss uh, with this dashboard and uh, uh, we wanted to uh, select like this for now uh, this is what means we do have a numeric point chart for sales, net sales revenue and gross margin and uh, we have a gross margin line chart as well uh, at the moment and that's it from this video i hope you have understood this if there are any questions then please put it in comment section if any point is not clear then do let me know thank you for watching